we embryologists collect the eggs. We wash them, make them free from blood and unwanted cumulus cells and shift them to culture media and allowed, allow incubation time to accommodate themselves in the culture media for at least 2 to maximum 4 hours. And then we start off with the process of conventional insemination or ICSI. Within this time period, the andrology lab has to play the major role by asking the male partner to produce a semen sample which needs to be prepared via proper sperm washing techniques called density gradient centrifugation or maybe by sperm sorting techniques like microfluidics or max or if the patient needs a donor semen sample, a proper consent needs to be taken by matching with the ABO, the phenotypes and certain requests of the patient, we proceed with the donor semen sample. In case of patients with azospermia, sperms aspirated from testicles also called as teza can also be used for injecting into the oocytes. After sperm preparation, we go ahead with IVF or ICSI for short or which is called intracytoplasmic sperm injection is performed as a proper procedure and before that denudation is also done to remove the cumulus cells from the oocyte. Some patients may have severely compromised sperm morphology. In those cases, we go ahead with advanced techniques like IMSI where we can select the sperms comparatively better using a higher magnification and which is few steps ahead of ICSI also. So for patients with recurrent miscarriages, for patients with recurrent failures, they can opt to use PICSI where we select the sperms on the basis of the sperm physiology. After injecting, we wait for 16 to 18 hours of incubation in a device we call as the incubator and check for the fertilization status on day 1 of embryo culture. We denote the day of ovum pickup as day 0. We observe the pair of pronuclei and polar bodies on day 1 and observe the size of pronuclei and distribution of nuclear precursor bodies and other factors. On day 3, we check the embryos again to see the growth of the embryos which is at the cleavage stage and finally on day 5 and day 6 we check the blastocyst stage. Meanwhile, if the clinician thinks the parameters are good for a fresh embryo transfer to happen, we prefer to go ahead with that. On day 3 or on day 5 or else as a general protocol, we freeze or vitrify the embryos in a thing we colloquially call as the straws. Now, when the patient produces a good lining of the endometrium, the doctor advises to worm or thaw the embryos in a HRT or natural cycle and we bring back the patient's embryos to the phase where we had actually frozen them and we inseminate the embryos inside the uterus which we call as the embryo 